Yo, what's up everybody? Crazy Al Kane here with one of the most talked about bikes of 2017, the 2018 Mongoose Title Pro Double XL. The bike is $250 complete. $250, that's it. The frame is hydroformed, it's aluminum, it's made for pro level racing, but the parts that it has are starter parts. This bike is made for the BMXer on the budget or somebody who wants to just try it out for the first time but does not want to break their bank on a super expensive Pro XL complete bike. You're going to get to see exactly how this bike handles some pretty good abuse. And with that, let's go to day one. All right, so day one, I didn't really have no place to go with the bike. So I just was in front of the crib, did some tail taps, you know, a little bit of bike tricks. I can't help myself, man. My racing bike is my street bike. My racing bike is my long distance bike, it's my travel bike, it's my everything bike. So I treated this bike just like I would treat my normal bike. So, you know, just try and check it out, see how the manuals were feeling on it. The manuals were feeling nice. Bike went right up, you know, it's a 2175 top tube, but it felt like it was a 21, but with some, with, but with a long confidence to it. So when you pull it up, you don't feel like you're gonna loop out, you just feel confident. Taking some bunny hop action right there. It's handling all kinds of stuff. A little tail whip. Just little things like that would normally mess up a bike in that price range. But this bike handled it well. It felt tight. I'm doing sitting there doing all kind of bunny hops and stuff. I think the first bike I was doing endos on was a Mongols back in the day, Mongols uh, California. So you know, so I'm just showing you all the different times that I've tried to do different tricks on here. I wanted to kind of document each time I did it so you can see the kind of abuse the bike can actually take. You know, and this isn't really much abuse I'm giving the bike, but for a bike that's $250, come on son, it handles pretty good. And what I, what I really like about this bike is you're not gonna find a double XL sized BMX racing bike complete for $250, it's not happening. Most of the time a double XL bike is a pro bike and they're gonna put pro parts on it. It's gonna be a team model or you know a team series model. And it's gonna be a top of the line bike with top of the line parts on it. This is the first time I've seen a BMX company take a pro size bike on a double XL size and actually put starter parts on it to get you started. Because there's a lot of riders out there who are in the 511, you know, six foot range that need a bike that has more room. For tall guys, you need something bigger, a bigger, more, more roomy sized bike, and that's what this bike has. And just for 250, you can't be mad at that. The forks on this bike are beefy, high ten steel, and they actually are relatively strong. They can take a lot of abuse. Of course, they have a lot of weight to them, but they make them extra thick to handle a lot of the abuse because with high ten, you need more metal to make them strong as chromoly. Um, you'll see later on how these forks handle. So here we are, Cunningham Park Pump Track. You're gonna see how the Mongoose title hymns that. All right? All right, so I took the bike to Cunningham's for his first time on the dirt and put it through the motions, you know, hit the berms, hit the beginner pump track, and the bike felt great on the track. For the price range that it's in and everything, it felt great. All right, folks, first jump of the day on the title. Let's see how it handles with the jumps. Little jump, but we'll see what happens. Not bad. All right, let's go a little bigger now. Not bad. Not bad at all. So for the first day on the bike, I took it easy. I didn't want to get too crazy. I knew the parts were high 10, and I didn't know how strong they really were. So. You know, as, as the day went on, I got a little more comfortable with it, started going a little bit higher to see exactly what they can take. And they can take a, pretty, a lot, actually. It's a really, really smooth bike. It goes where you want it to go. And this is straight up stock parts, how it comes, 250. And it still rides nice and it's still tight. I mean, I haven't done that much to the couple of pump track laps, hit the jumps a little bit, but it's still riding good, still tight, doesn't have to tighten up yet. You know, me, I race on another bike and that bike is a lot lighter, so I feel the weight, but it don't really bother me at all, man. It's a lot of fun. At this point, I got real comfortable and was doing X-ups and tabletops, and the bike didn't seem like it was having a problem with any of that at all. 
The cranks are Chromo 175, have a 44 tooth sprocket, all very entry level. You definitely want to replace those, especially if you rock with 180s, but they handle good. So next up, I took it to Brooklyn Bike Park and uh, wanted to see how it rolled on that pump track. It's a little bit more intense there. You can go a little bit faster because everything's paved. You know, so it's hitting a little bit of doubles, doing some technical some technical work on some of these jumps. And um, it really handles the berms nice. The tires that it has on it, uh, there are, they are a little heavy, but they really have a really good tread on them. And the tread keeps you right in pocket. You don't feel like you're gonna slide out. Um, started hitting the little table section right there where, you know, if you come up short, you slam pretty hard so you can kind of hear me slamming, bang, every time I come down. But it gives you an idea of what the, the bike can handle. And of course, you know, I'm going to do a little bit of tricks here, you know, a little tail tap. A little tail tap action right there. A little fast plant, you know. Get some little fast plant slow motion right there, you know, so. This bike can handle a lot, you know, boop, boop. Uh, uh, uh. A little slow-mo action, Empire State Building in the background. You got definitely got to come out to Brooklyn Bike Park. A lot of fun. Fast plan. Yeah, man. So, like I said, and at this point, the bike still feels tight. I'm getting more confident with the strength of the parts on the bike. You know, so I'm um, hitting up all these different spots. Going a little faster, trying a little bit more different things. You know, look at it, taking the bike up high, coming down hard, a little table action. Really starting to feel confident on the bike, like the parts are gonna support me with whatever I'm doing. You see, it's coming up short, hitting stuff, and the rims are still straight. Look at this. So for day three, I took the little one out to High Bridge Bike Park uptown, and uh, you know, hit the little jump line they have there. The jumps are a lot more lippy. So it gives you more pop and it was a lot of fun riding the bike there and it handled like a charm like it, no problems at all with the bike at high bridge next up came back to cunningham more confident wanting to do more things on the bike to see exactly what it can really handle at this point i'm like let me get busy and just do me and not hold back too much so started hitting this style double they have there doing little tabletops bike held up tight didn't feel loose it was just riding real good Going a little can can action did a couple of different shots it's hard to film in there because the contrast the lighting in there is crazy when it's sunny out oh, good. what's up it's crazy out okay? that's it no hey we out here cunningham at the uh, jet line um, it's still running pretty good actually. It just needs to get broomed up. It's got a lot of acorns on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a whole bunch of acorns. Hey, you ready? No. Um, Amen, get my I'm gonna do a couple of runs with the uh, mongoose. With the cool mongoose title, you know what I'm saying? $250 of fun right here, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna see how it handles on the, uh, <clears throat> on the jet line. There's some pretty nice size jumps on this joint, so we're gonna see how it handles right now. This is my cameraman. He don't want to say his name. He's a little shy. He's like, you know, the shy cameraman. We gonna call oh, you shy, shy cameraman? Shy yeah, cameraman? Yeah, All right, shy cameraman right there representing. Yeah, but everyone's gonna know. <laughs> my friends watch this channel. <laughs> they're gonna be on YouTube like, yo, they're gonna put you on black. I was. was crazy. There was like a little pothole somewhere in that joint. We're gonna try again though. We're gonna try again. Close. I, I was like, where am I gonna go after this? That was crazy. That was crazy. Um, it's a little crazy, a little bumpy, a little crazy. But the bike's sailing good. Still pretty tight, son. Still pretty tight. Go along like this, and then down here. Yep. And then this way? Yeah. I think he's got it. He's got the pattern, y'all. <laughs> that 
gave me crazy boosters now. That was like crazy. <laughs> I'm not going fast enough for that. <laughs> I think we got it. Yo, crazy. <sighs> but the bike handles it, look. After a bunch of runs, still sounding all right, y'all. 250 bucks, one for Amazon. Going for another round. And the bike's holding up good. Come on. Yo, that was a sick shot. So we're getting further down the hill, I'm trying to get some better shots when we come down the hill. Um, and uh, like I said, the spot is rideable. It may look sketchy because everybody's used to these pristine jumps that look, you know, nice. But, you know, back in the day, we used to run them rough. And right now it's running rough, but it's still running and it's feeling good. Nothing real, nothing throwing you off real crazy. So um, we're going to get another shot of me riding this bike. This is like round six. What, what round is this on this bike? How many times did I go down this thing? Like more than 10. More than 10 times, this thing's still holding up. Still sounds tight. Here we go. Oh, oh gosh. That was pretty intense. I kind of overcleared some stuff. But the one thing that's cool about these jumps is that they're pretty forgiving. So even if you do overclear some of them, all you gotta do is pretty much huck the next one and you'll probably get over, which is really cool. We're gonna try some more before it gets too dark. Got that out camera. Yo, check this out. These shin pads work today. Shout out to Models for the shin pads. They worked. Bike's still hanging on. I think my handlebars might have moved when I came up short somewhere. All Let's dirt. See. First crash on the mongoose. Looks like the bar has moved up a little bit. Maybe? No, move back. No, if you look at front, uh, from the back. No, I had them, I had them back already, kind of. They look like they moved up a little bit, maybe. Still sounds tight. I fell on it for the first time pretty nicely over a nice set um the forks are still cool it feels like the handlebars might might have moved up or moved back i think it might have moved up a little bit i'm not sure it looks backwards like this well that's because i have them back like i have i run them back and the sweep goes back pretty far but they're not bent just the it looks like they got loose on the stem it might have moved back them actually moved forward a little bit i think i had it back more but still holding up good all right so we're here at Brooklyn Bike Park representing right now on the uh, pump track. They have a cool little jump section that they made after it got plowed. They hooked up, made a little section over here. It's pretty cool. And we're gonna try this bad boy out, see how it holds up over this over this table right here. Let's check it out. Ready, set, go. You got it, you got it. Okay. Hurry up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I didn't stand up. Oh, I what happened? Yeah, you can. Got it, nice. All right, so check it out. 
I just got the, uh, it. It seems like something's getting a little loose on here. I had to do some maintenance. Uh, I don't know if it's the handlebars or the stem or whatever, but something feels like it's getting a little bit loose right here. So I got to get an Allen key and see what's up. So far, so good. It's still hanging in there. It still sounds tight. Only thing that got loose, like I said before, was the stem. But it's running good. So we're gonna keep going. Yo, so I'm, I'm back here at Cunningham and I was about to make a video of me riding the jet line. I got a couple loose shots in, but then I got a little loose and landed pretty weird and it actually broke my forks. So this jump right here, man, you can get so much boost off of it. I never really tried to boost it up until this point. And I started boosting this thing, that little step up all day. And right there is, right, boom, right there is where my forks cracked. I said, let me just keep riding, roll again. And then I looked down and saw that the forks had a little crack on them. We got some pictures of it, but it started to crack right there. But I must say, that this bike held up really, really good, better than expected with all the stuff I've been doing the last couple of days. I really wanted to take it to a track before I started uh, breaking parts, but that didn't happen. Um, but it's been a lot of fun riding the bike. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start putting some other parts on the bike. Um, starting with the forks, of course, and I'll probably change the cranks. And the cranks are good, they've been holding up, but I don't wanna ride 175s. I wanna ride 180s, so I'm gonna throw 180s on there. But they held up really good to the abuse I was giving them. Even the pedals have been holding up really good. So I have to reshoot this thing I was trying to do. I was gonna do a shot of me doing the whole jet line. But I came down kind of funny styles and I broke my forks. They have a nice little crack on them. We saw that before. I threw on my Skyway forks, my other bike, so I can get busy. The other thing I did was I put on my 180 cranks. I also threw my uh, 45 tooth sprocket on but the bottom bracket is the same the bottom bracket remains the same so this is the stock bottom bracket and i just threw on a little snafu quick release just because i wanted to but everything else on the bike is stock so the wheels are still stock bottom bracket still stock seat still stock uh stem handlebars headset tires brakes all still stock and it's all still running good all right so we're going to um, get some video of the jet line this time i'm gonna do the whole run son so once I made that little upgrade with the Skyway forks and stuff, I've already instantly felt the difference in the way the bike handles and the way the bike feels. I just changed the forks and the front end felt a lot lighter, the bike felt a lot more movable in the air, and it, it was really, really fun to ride at this point. Since I had some more advanced parts, I was able to ride more confidently and get busy on the bike. But I did still have the stock stem and the stock handlebars on, which didn't give me a problem at all. And I felt completely confident with them when I was riding with them. I didn't feel like I was going to break them at all.
so I hit the pump track this time and filmed myself doing a whole lap and I was going pretty fast I felt the bike handled it like a champ it was great So for day eight, I took it back to Brooklyn Bike Park and got to ride the dirt jumps. I was there a, maybe a day before and caught a flat tire hitting the uh, pump track part again. And I just landed so sideways that it just made it just pinched my tire and uh, gave me a flat. And I was too lazy to, to fix the flat, so I put my mags on. So let me try my bike out with the mags. And uh, the dirt jumps were open and we were just having fun on it, man. No worries at all on a bike. Still have the stock stem, still have the stock bars on his bike, but I just threw the mags on the bike now and was having some fun with it, and it handled perfectly. So before the day ended, I tried to boost the table into the berm, and I flew over the table and landed flat bottom, flipped over the berm and everything, but the bike was in good condition. Nothing happened to the bike. The frame was good. Everything was perfect on the bike, and that's a testament to how good the frame really is. The bars didn't bend. The stem didn't break. The only thing that broke was the skin on my arm. So for my final day, what I did was I upgraded the parts completely on the bike. Made it into a race machine for national slaying right now. You know what I'm saying? So what I did to the bike, I put some excess parts on the bike. I have the excess 351 wheels stock. Those wheels are awesome. I've been riding them for a long time, so I got some more for it. The two-piece excess LSP 180 millimeter cranks. I also got some V Speedsters. I love the uh, blue walls on those. The Hyper Race Bars 8.5 rise. I also have the 11 stem, 45 millimeter stem, polished with some ramp pedals in green. I got the pedals because they're green. I needed something green to match my green colorway that I'm using on here. Green red line grips with uh, some blue bar ends. Kept the Mongo seat because the Mongo seat just looks so nice on the frame and matches it. It is a little bit on the wide side, so sometimes you may feel it hit your, your, your foot when you're, when you're racing on the track, but it just looks too good to take off. So I finally got the bike to the track after the upgrade, and the bike handled amazing. It was a lot lighter, a lot more nimble on the track, jumped perfectly, it went everywhere I wanted it to go. Once you upgrade the bike, it's like night and day. All the parts that I put on the bike just enhanced the performance of the bike so much. Went to Trumbull BMX in Connecticut and just got busy on the bike. It handled the, the rhythm section, the jumps, the big jumps. The bike was so much fun to ride. So that's it. That's my review of the 2018 Mongoose Title Pro Double XL. Bike was dope. I hope you liked this review that I did. I'm going to be doing more this year. And leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this review. If you have any requests of any bikes that you would like me to review, let me know. I'll try and make that happen. Anybody who owns one of the new Mongoose bikes, definitely leave a comment below and let us know what you think about the bikes and your experience. Make sure you stay tuned for my next review, which is going to be the Truth BMX Products 2018 Main Event Double XL. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And until then, have fun riding, y'all. Peace.